Yo guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how to take nearly impossible chords and make them a lot easier to play. We're going to look at two techniques. They won't require a whole lot of music theory, so they should be pretty easy. First up, let's say that we have a chord shape that's all fretted. and Let's say we really like this sound. We want to use it in one of our songs, but we just can't play it for a long time, or maybe we just can't grab it because the fingering is too difficult. So if we take a chord like this, what we're going to try and do is take some of these fretted notes and turn them into open notes, since open notes are a lot easier to play since you don't have to grab anything. So how do we go about doing that? Well, we want to take our shape that's challenging and we want to move it either towards the 12th fret here or just towards the open area of the guitar here, I guess fret zero. So if I take this shape and I just move it down one fret at a time here until I get to the open note, you can see that we can get this sound here and all of a sudden I can play the chord without having to use my index finger anymore. So now the shape becomes a lot easier to manage. Instead of having this kind of crazy shape here, I can just play the chord with this C chord shape. And if anything, this sound is nicer than the one I had before because we have this open B string, which helps to create this really nice twinkly effect. Let's do another example. So let's say that we take a ninth chord, this classic ninth slash sus2 sound. So this is a great sound, but for the beginner, even intermediate guitarist, this is actually pretty hard to play. So again, we can just try and move things down until one of these notes here becomes an open note. So if I just walk it down to the open strings here, all of a sudden, when I get to this position, I no longer need to put my index finger down. And I can get this awesome ninth chord kind of sound here uh, with a much easier fingering. And we can do the same thing if we just move it to the adjacent set of strings here. So one thing that I should mention, so this is an A chord. So when we move it down here, we're going to move to an E chord. So this will affect the, the key that you're playing. And so I would try to use this technique as something that um, you integrate before you actually write something. So you want to use this to kind of help you pick the key that you're going to play in. Because if you have a chord uh, that you want to access in a song that you've already written, then this technique won't really work unless it happens to be in the key of your choice. So yeah, we went from this to that. Let's do maybe one more example. So let's say we have a similar chord shape, something like this. So this is one that I used to be really fascinated by a couple of years ago. And while it's a cool chord, it's definitely not very realistic to play in a normal setting. So what we can do again is walk this guy all the way down until that note becomes an open note. We get something like that. Now, as I said before, when we add these open notes, they create a nice twinkly sound. So this is actually something that you can utilize uh, just purely for tone. Like let's say we take a chord that is not all that challenging to play. Say something, well, at least for me, this chord here, um, this minor 11 sound. Um, it's not super challenging to play, but if I want to make it more open, I can do the same thing here where I just walk it down and turn some of these notes into open notes. Or as I said before, we can also do that up here on the 12th fret as well. So if we walk it down like that, we're gonna get some nice sounds. So I encourage you to really just take any chord that you know and try and make an open version of it by just moving it towards the open strings. See what happens. Anyways, let's move on to the second technique. So the second technique here is what I call the tuning adjustment technique. So this one's gonna be a little more challenging, will require a little bit of music theory, but this one can really get you out of a jam. And it's also gonna be based again on open notes. So let's take an example chord. So I really love this one, but this is really hard to play in standard. It sounds like this and looks like this. So as you can see here, this is like a death stretch. You know, there's no way that realistically you could use this in a playing situation, at least for a very long time. So one way that we can make this a lot easier to access is to change one of these fretted notes here into an open note. So the challenging thing is that we're gonna to need to know the notes that we're playing, or at least fretting. So if I take a look at this guy here, the note that my index finger is reaching for, this is an A pitch. So if I wanna make this A pitch accessible, 
I want to try and turn it into an open note. How do I do that? I can change my tuning. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tune my G string up to A. And I've got my phone here, a trusty tuner handy. So let's, let's tune this guy up. So now this note that I was fretting before has turned into this. It's just turned into an open string. And so now if I want to get that exact same chord sound, all I need to do is play this very simple shape where I'm fretting literally just one note. And all of a sudden, woo, I've opened things up and now I can do all kinds of things with the sound. And it's really not all that hard to play at all. So again, if you have a nice chord that you want to play, but you just can't finger it, try to change the tuning so that you can make that sound playable. Anyways, I hope these tips helped. Good luck, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.